why this medical censorship is being there? Why don't we see open debates? What do you think mm -hmm. about it? Well, we have not had freedom of speech in medicine for decades. Um, I can tell you that we absolutely know in science and medicine the cures for many things. I have been a part of research where we found the cures for things. For instance, um, Pfizer, everybody knows that drug company, they actually found out, they were working with a scientist who found out the cause of why people get blockages in their arteries and have heart attacks. Well, the cause actually comes from dental bacteria, believe it or not. That they, the bacteria goes and travels and goes into the artery and into the wall of the artery. Well, then it weakens the wall so that your body's smart and it knows that it doesn't want the artery to burst open and bleed. So it puts cement around there, which is called plaque. When they found that out, they said, hmm, I wonder if our antibiotic uh, azithromycin will work for it. So they did a study. We were part of it. And at first, the study was doing great. All these people's blockages were shrinking, and that's what we thought. And then all of a sudden, they stopped the study. They told us not to do it anymore. And we asked the researcher why, and he said, well, because it was working too well. The blockages were just disappearing. There were no more blockages. That means the person didn't have the disease anymore. And he said, nobody can know that. What are we going to do for a living? All of my colleagues, all the other doctors said, we can't tell anybody about this. I, I and other people were threatened. They said, don't tell anybody about this. If you do, you'll never work again because we can't let anyone know this. What will we do for a living? How do we make money? That's literally what my colleagues said. That's just one of many things we know how to cure people with. So it's, it's really for money. <laughs> we're all a dollar sign. It's about making people sick and maintaining them sick for the dollar.